Think carefully. Think carefully. I hide away from prying eyes. Fall! Fall! away from yes so many secrets lie buried beneath the ground resistant dam ah! I hide away from prying eyes I hide away from prying eyes. I hide away from prying eyes. None stand against me! I hide away from prying eyes. I hide away from prime eyes. Hello again.
Yes. Think carefully. You return, and all is silent again. I give you this. As a living man, it was among my most prized possessions. Now it is useless to me. Now return from whence you came, and I shall return once more to my grave, to darkness, to dust. I can carry no more. Thank you. 
You are more than welcome in my sight. You have my greetings, faithful. My God protects me and watches us all. Yes, this is it. We've done what we came to do. Time to head back to the palace for a well-earned rest, don't you think? Thank you gods, it's done! It's over. It's finally over. Saravok's allies are all dead, or awaiting the noose. What will you do now? You sure are a ray of sunshine, aren't you? I'm glad you're all right. I worry about you. I don't know why I talk to you sometimes. I really don't. Corlage is defeated, and the last of Saravok's influence died with her. Your foster father, Gorion, has been avenged. With the exception of your friend Imowen, those who helped you thwart your half-brother's schemes drift away from you, returning to their lives. For the first time since you left Candlekeep, you have the opportunity to reflect on the astonishing turns your life has taken. Though you are fettered by the rulers of Baldur's Gate, a sense of unease plagues you. You can't help but hear the rumors, the whispers that you share the same dark blood as Saravok. Some hint you killed your half-brother, not for the good of the city, but so you could usurp his place and his power. For the moment, however, your persecutors' voices are drowned out by an ever-growing number of others with more immediate concerns. Every day, more refugees driven from their homes by the servants of Kalar Argent arrive at the city gates. Many have stories of the Shining Lady's grace. All have tales of her followers' wrath. A ten day after Corlage's defeat, you retire to your chamber in the Ducal Palace, your thoughts troubled. You wonder what effect Kalar's crusade will have on Baldur's Gate. Little knowing how close at hand the answer is.
Hey, uh, you awake? It's me, Emmeline. Good. I need to talk about what's going on. Maybe I'm just jumpy because of what's been going on in the city. There's so many people here running from that crusade in the north. I thought I heard noises outside my room. I was worried something was happening. Footsteps, maybe muttering. It was probably just a servant. <laughs> Hells, now I feel silly. Wait, there it is again. Did you hear that? I'm gonna go check it out. With caution. People here, help me! Keep back! I'm warning you! Come any closer and I'll... I'll... Cut her down. I hide away from prying eyes. The hero is here! You Take them! Are you here? The palace is under attack and... Oh, hells. You all right? Forgive me. I'm Shale Corwin, Captain, Flaming Fist. Enemy forces penetrated the palace. I tried to reach you before they did, but... I wish I knew. Duke Eltan has people trying to assemble the Council of Four in the main hall. You may want to join them once your friend's been taken care of. Imowen, are you here, girl? She is here, Grand Duke Janath. But she needs help. Let me see her. Fenster and the other healers are dealing with the wounded downstairs. I've some knowledge of the healing arts and a few potions. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Several assassins managed to penetrate the palace. Some guards stumbled upon them and raised the alarm. A handful of the attackers were slain. The rest scattered through the building, finding their way to you and wounding my apprentice. The assassin's blades are coated with a mystic poison, but I believe I can save her. The best thing you can do right now is accompany Captain Corwin downstairs and ensure the palace is secure. Of course, milady. I'll give you a moment to recover yourself and await you on the second floor. <laughs> 